Red Bull Racing is the form team heading into this weekend's season opening Bahrain Grand Prix. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. Red Bull was the star of Formula One's hectic three-day preseason test, an omen that could see its best chance of a strong start for the first time in the sport's super complex hybrid era. Max Verstappen topped the timesheets on day three, his Red Bull RB16 an impressive bullet on rails, as perennial favorites Mercedes struggled with gearbox and balance issues. And the squad returns to Bahrain this week with quiet confidence, despite the Silver Arrow's suggested pace deficit potentially exacerbated by the compacted schedule, wind and grip change from day to night. What we got out of this test was very useful, said Guillaume Rocola, Red Bull Racing's head of race engineering. We've got a really good base to build from. Red Bull's preseason form followed a solid shakedown at historic British track Silverstone, where Sergio Perez got his first runs for the team, and Verstappen was all about pragmatic ambitions. I hope that as a team, you know, we can uh, make it difficult for, for Mercedes, especially because I think they still are the favorites. So, um, yeah, I just hope as a team and, and together with, with Sergio, we can score those points. Against the backdrop of Mercedes' dominance of the hybrid era, Red Bull has won just 17 races since the beginning of 2014. Four was its high point in 2018, with just two last year. A solid haul against the might of the marauding Silver Arrows, but not enough to mount a championship charge. Red Bull, however, could be quick out of the box this time with clever aero updates, Mercedes-like rear suspension, and powerful Honda engine, with updates originally scheduled for 2022. With the squad set to take over its development next year. It was great to get the, uh, the, the Honda agreement, you know, through after the freeze was voted through, thankfully supported you know, gratefully by the other teams, the FIA and the commercial rights holder. So, you know, that enables us to fully focus on Honda's last year, you know, in Formula One to try and do the very best that we can. With consistent regulations and a solid preseason behind it, it could be time for a Red Bull Racing resurgence. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.